My friend Ed was driving way too fast. At the time, we didn't realize he may have had too much to drink. Ed lost control of the wheel of that car, and he crashed into a mound of sand, sending that car hurling into the air before tumbling back to earth. One of the first times that I came to, that's when one of my doctors said this. He said, Scott, in case you don't recall, you're in a bad car accident. You've broken your neck and have a very serious spinal cord injury that has left you paralyzed from your chest down. Diagnosed a quadriplegic. It wasn't long thereafter I was being told I'd be confined to this chair for the rest of my life. 30 days into this experience laying there, I started getting some movement back in both of my wrists. In the back of my mind, I started thinking to myself that no matter how difficult life would be going forward, that everything would be okay. <laughs> uh, when I first started pushing a wheelchair, that's when one of my doctors, though, pulled me over. And he goes, Scott, look, we know you're getting some movement back in your arms. Not uncommon, but I think now more than ever, you need to understand the seriousness of your spinal cord injury and come to realize that the movement that you're getting back in your arms is as good as it's going to get. I don't know if that is exactly what he said, but what I heard was, you might as well go ahead right now and give up hope. Give up hope on the idea you ever come out of this chair. But the problem was, I bought into his words. My vision darkened. To make matters a little more difficult for my parents, they were 2,000 miles away, and I literally stopped taking their phone calls. Four days later, Dad got me on the phone, and he demanded to know what was wrong. So I made an executive decision to tell him. And all he said was this, I was out there two weeks ago for your birthday. Your attitude was off the charts. Remember how he reached down, put my arms under your arms, and hoisted you into the upright position? Do you recall what that felt like? Of course I do. Will you do me a favor? Will you go back and recapture that mindset and re-own it again? In the meantime, don't be upset with me. I'm going to have words with that doctor. And then come the next morning, when I woke up, I could not believe my eyes. Standing at that doorway, looking back at me, was my dad. Letting me know in a sense, everything would be okay. And if I learned anything from dad, that no matter how difficult life is for you, in that moment, you can always change your way of thinking. And that's when I made the profound decision that I was willing to fail, but I was unwilling to quit while knowing that nothing worth achieving ever comes too easy. But to succeed, that takes grit. But what is grit? Grit, my friends, is your passion to persevere. Grit is what keeps you off the sidelines and back in the game of life. Well, there's something I learned in my life so many years ago and I know it to be the truth. Don't ever let someone else's beliefs paralyze you from achieving those things you believe in your mind that you just might be able to achieve. If you are looking to thrive, to beat the odds, and achieve extraordinary results in your own lives, don't give up too soon. <laughs>